what's up? How was your what's today? What day is it? It's Monday. Monday. You, know, you know what Monday is. Zoom calls, conference calls, artist calls, management calls, executive calls, in the loop calls, then in the loop. Then I still got to do my walk. Man, this a Monday be a long ass day, Charlie. Oh no, you did your walk today. How many miles did you walk, friend? I got to do it after this, you know. It, it just knocked down like a mile, a mile and a half or something. You know what I mean? Well, you didn't do like it. That. You're just saying that you Light have work. to. Light work. Okay. Something to make sure the corona can't stay in a brother, you know. I got you. I got you. I got the corona and the concussion. You know what I'm saying? How my people doing? How everybody doing? Everybody, you good? How you doing? I'm good. Um, I refinanced my car today. I didn't. I didn't know what that was all about. Hold on. Hold on. Did you see that? We got some jokes. We got jokes on it. Yeah, what, what did you say? You say? Welcome to the fridge. And back does not count. To the fridge. <laughs> First of all, player, I don't even have a fridge. I have a food closet. So get your, oh, get your no, no, don't got, do that. That's not nice. Don't say that. That's I'm not nice. Open up my fridge like this. I got a walk-in <laughs> fridge. I'm a real player. I got a walk-in fridge. That's, get you one, boy. That do count. Yeah, that's still walking. You don't know how far that man fridge is. We, we don't know how far his fridge is. His fridge is downstairs. He got to go down there. That's a long walk. That counts. She said, sound like fat shame. <laughs> <laughs> no fat shaming in here, buddy. We don't get down like that. We don't do no negativity in, in the loop live, okay? It's not tolerated. Yeah, all that happened that you attack fast and all that happened. Look at that. It, and, 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 that after, little jumpy joke. and that's after he we, we I let him he was a a, a co-host last week. I, we went live together. I brought you in. See, you gotta watch. You gotta watch who you see. You gotta watch who you let in your house. Watch it. Watch you, buddy. Watch who you let in the room. Yeah, that's what you count. Period. All right. See, you see, ready look, see, see, look. Leave my nephew a seat. That's a perfect example of one of your of one of your. <laughs> see, we were just talking about that. <laughs> okay. What are you no, day no, no, no. To? BK, no. That's no, no. Tap. You, get you got in trouble. You got in trouble. <laughs> Anytime it's negativity, mm -mm. no, no. All right. Do you understand? Okay. That's a no, no. All right. Y'all want to get into these stories or what? Hey, BK, I love you, man. I know you was just playing church. Yeah, we love you, BK. Thank you. All right. So, top five stories in a loop. If you're just joining us, this is how we do it. Top five stories of the week, starting off with number five. Okay. All right, R. Kelly, your buddy, your friend, your favorite rapper, your favorite artist, your favorite singer of all time. His his manager has been charged. These people are doing everything they can to get R. Kelly out of jail, but they are making it worse. So R. Kelly's manager is facing charges for allegedly calling. This is back in 2018. He just got charged. But he called and threatened the uh, uh, a theater in New York City when that R. Kelly, um, Surviving R. Kelly documentary came out. He called them and told them, hey, we finna shoot up the spot. <laughs> <laughs> he told them, don't play the damn documentary. We're about to shoot up the spot. They tracked him down, and now he's uh, got charged. Um, he's, he's facing charges anyway. The prosecutor's accused his name is... Uh, name Russell. The pro Donald Russell. His, the prosecutors accused him and two other... Um, allies are trying to intimidate or bribe Kelly's accusers. So the last accuser, I mean, the last uh, three other guys, two other guys beside the manager, one dude uh, blew up the girl or set the, one of the girl's car on fire, set her SUV on fire, trying to intimidate them, telling them not to, to, you know, participate with the government. And the other, one of the girl, one of the guys um, gave one of the girls, bribed her with $500,000. So I have a million? Yes, which I'm trying to figure out where they're getting that money from. Hey, I ain't sorry, love. They um, say, I don't know where they get that money from. Kelly, they say R. Kelly took like 1.2 million somewhere. Yeah, they say they found like 1.2 in the mattress at the old house. See, wow. <laughs> he had it tucked in, in that old pissy, mattress. In a pissy mattress. 
He had it tucked in the air mattress. So you put it in there, and then when you blow it up, you can't see it's in there. See what I'm saying? That's smart. That's that's thinking. Oh, he was smart. He was thinking. <laughs> Man, dumb as hell. Yeah. Why so did? <laughs> now his managers uh being charged for calling that theater saying he's gonna blow up the theater. The other two guys, like I said, tried to uh, one set the girl's car on fire, her SUV, and the other guy gave bribed somebody with five hundred k. But where it's like, dude, you you have to, you got money to bribe people, but you didn't have enough money to put up your bill at the time. Is what you said. I yes, think, he is. See, he couldn't have that much money because if he put the bail money up, then he got money. He had filed like bankruptcy. Yeah. Or something. yeah so that's he like had he just had made it. the wrong move at the wrong time. I didn't like. Look, I got all the money. Let me out. Yeah, why would you? Don't hide it. Just you know, do what you gotta do. But it's just not don't helping. Hide the it, don't hide it. Divide it. Hello, Jojo three two six eight. Beautiful. I want you to know, Cole. What's up, Church? Man, okay. fuck R. Kelly. Excuse my language. Fuck R. Kelly right now. It's weird, though. Because they keep talking about this dude in so many different subjects, but none of them matter. You yeah. still in jail. He's like, not getting out. He's not getting out. They're trying to help him get out, but they're not helping this case. They're making it hard for him. They're going to let Tony, uh, well, I say Tony the Tiger. Uh, they're going to oh. let uh, Joe oh. Rodeo. Is that the Tiger name? King. <laughs> Tiger, yeah. They're going to let the Tiger King out before they let Joe <laughs> us out. Hey. Rita, you said they suck at intimidation. I'm gonna tickle you to death. Right. I'm gonna tickle you. You be like, they doing dumb shit. How? Wait. How? Wait. Which one would you want to be? The one that that gets started to get shot up. The one that gets five hundred thousand, or the one that gets the car on caught on uh, set on fire. Like, how are these different types of tactics? Why not give everybody? I <laughs> I want to know who found the money in the air mattress. I know. <laughs> and he didn't told on them. <laughs> like, 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 sat on the, they sat on it and was like, wait a minute. This is my killer money? This must be everybody. Let me go tell somebody I just found $1.2 million of Robert money in the air mattress. It's man, the hell out of here, man. R. Kelly is a lost subject. Sorry. I still, your music is beautiful. Your brain stems is not working. <laughs> you don't you smoke crack. It messes your brain cells, son. It messes your brain you cells. Smoke crack, don't you? you smoke crack. <laughs> don't you? Yeah, I wish, I wish, I wish show ass was smoking crack. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, well, that's our Kelly for you. All right, we're going to move on to story number four in the little top five. Number four story of the night. <laughs> Um, your friend Kim Kardashian is doing all she can to get a lot of people out of jail. Like, honestly, I'm wondering when is the time that she's gonna let Larry Hoop out because uh, she getting everybody out of jail. This is this. Why everybody with last name K gotta be my friend? Everybody, your friend. Okay, so Kim Kardashian is trying to help see murder the brother of. <laughs> she is a yes. hoe. She's, <laughs> she's a hoe. I'm like, why are you worried about everybody but me? Rita G, C Murder getting out of jail. She she's a she's a fan of C Murder. She got his last album. <laughs> Man, if I was Kanye, oh. I'd be typing up my own divorce papers. Like, I, I need to get rid of this shit. So she she's trying to help C Murder get out of jail. Of course, he was convicted of shooting a 16-year-old uh, named Steve Thomas back in 2002. He's been in jail for a long time, and she's teaming up with Monica, the singer. Supposedly, Monica. Used to date C Murder. I didn't know this. Yeah, I, I remember that. Yeah, so I she, remember that. Yeah. So she's helping out uh, Kim Kardashian to get C Murder out of jail. Okay. Yeah, they need to, they need to get Murder out of jail though. I love C Murder. Shout out to C Murder. I I love C Murder. He's a good guy. They're saying there's you know, new evidence know. that came up that proves that he didn't convict the crime and the people were changing their testimony and all that. Kind of and then you gotta understand down there. They give you 20 years, but it ain't like doing 20 years up here. Mm -hmm. Like, you do 20 years up here, you locked up, you all doing this, all doing that. Down there, if they give you 20 years, after, like, two years, you can go home. So, Why? like, you can go home. Yeah. So, like, if, okay. Because, like, he probably he probably was messing up. He probably a thug, but he was on death row, though. 
But I'm saying like in, in Mississippi. Bro. I yeah, he was on death row. Yeah, he was down there with uh Bootsy. Yeah, wow. he was on Bootsy. They was like on he wasn't on death row, but him and Bootsy was on death row. They was like locked up on death row. I don't think he got death. He was on a on, Yeah, he was on that deck. You know what I'm saying? Because him because Bootsy and C Murray was locked up together for a while, Bootsy said. Why can't I remember his brother's name in my mind right now? What was Master P? Master P. Yeah, and yeah, what, what was that label? What was that label called again? No Limit. Yeah, I didn't know. I was trying to they say I, money. Money. I didn't know. I was trying to say I didn't know he was on Death Row. I thought I, I thought he was with No Limit Records. No, no, he was down there with Gucci though. You but, didn't oh, get it. But, <laughs> you didn't know. get it. <laughs> I said you I didn't got... know he was on Death Row. I thought he was with No Limit Records. Get it? Oh, Death Row, No Limit. Whatever. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I got them J's though. What's up, fool? You're not following my jokes. I did follow your jokes. No, you didn't. We got one of the big wigs from DTLR in here. Okay. Shout out. Shout yeah. out to John John from the shy. Yeah. Come get my money too, boy. Think I'm playing with you. You know I'm off Adam's water. Don't be playing with me. You know I'm about Adam's water, 4157. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yep. So, Corey, so, so, C, uh, so, Corey Miller, C. Miller, he's getting out of, possibly he's going to get out of jail. Kim Kardashian's behind it, I guess. He's probably going to get out, more than likely. What's she going to do that can't nobody else do? I know, but how she get so much pull? I mean, she can get anybody out of jail. Like, what is up? She got pull, right? She got push and pull. That's what she got. Oh. Push. Cue the song. Where's the song we needed? <laughs> Play a song. Play a song. Run it, Pony River. See, murder getting out of jail. We gonna see you in a little bit. See, <laughs> hang in there, buddy. Hey, what hang you in there, buddy. <laughs> we, we gonna get you on our life when, when, when you get out. We're gonna get you on that in your mouth. See, murder coming home. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's gonna be her boo. Okay, okay. Oh, Ashley said it's a real sacrifice. Kanye from the shot. Y'all better stop playing with him. Kanye ain't having that. You think he be beating them bass drums? <laughs> you think he gonna beat her? But he said he wanna he wanna divorce Kim Kardashian. He don't like her no more. Yeah, that's what every man say. Everyone uh, he got you, like, man, get away from me. As soon as you get away from me, like where you going? Uh, oh, you finna go over there with them? Especially see you with them. Yeah. Now, now, I don't want you, but I can't see you with them. Yeah. But they yeah. won't have a problem if I see you with them. Now, you could be over there miserable by yourself, but with them, no. Oh, I see. You, know, you, gotta, you gotta be miserably alone after they break up with you. You can't get with nobody else. Yeah, you can't be over there smiling. Hmm. That's crazy. Yeah, no dogs, no cats, no TV, no ice cream, no nothing. Wow, why y'all want us to suffer so hard because of y'all's pride and ego? Because you can't control your emotions, y'all gotta make us suffer. Y'all can't question. control your emotions. You just answered your own question because our pride and our ego. Get over it because I'm moving on. I'm moving on. I'm coming out. I'm moving on. <laughs> The fuck? <laughs> I don't know what? What are y'all gonna do? Girls, listen, why girls would get mad at a dude and be acting like they just leaving the whole genre? Uh -oh. They're like, you know what? I ain't messing with men no more. That's like it. they threatening us that they gonna start messing with girls. Like they, that's how they threaten us. You know what? You know what? I'm through with men. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're gonna start dating the rams. You wanna go? Yeah, you start we're kicking with, you. with females after this. This is it. I'm done. I'm, I'm through with it. I'm through with men. Yeah. So what are you gonna do? I, I met a, I met a female yesterday. Um, I didn't really know her know her, but I was actually like, she's kind of cute. Like you know, she was a cute female. You know, I think she was like flirting with me a little bit. She had a girlfriend, but I was like, low key, if I wasn't, if I didn't like dudes, I would probably be down. You know, I'd be open to that. You know. Just because. Did you hear you know? that? Boy, boy, boy. Friend, I'm a, man, women say some real roundabout triangle, <laughs> upside down stuff, don't they? 
Just all <laughs> just the X turn the, the X turn the N. When keeping it real goes wrong, okay? That's what happens. When keeping it real goes wrong. Keeping it real yeah. goes wrong. Hello, DJ Cam been in the house. Hey, That's it, man. Hey, DJ hi. Cam been it. Work hard, work hard. His name should be work ethic. Anything that can be done in two minutes, do it now, says Cam Penny. Oh, okay. What's up, What's church? Up, All right, we're going to move on to story number three. This one is kind of weird, okay? So there's a home in, uh, for sale in Missouri right now. It's for sale. It's in Missouri. This house used to be a jail. A jail, okay? So TMZ said it's a two-bedroom, two-bathroom historic home that has nine working jail cells in the basement. They said the real estate agent said the possibilities are amazing. Wait a minute. The real estate agent said the possibilities of this jailhouse home is amazing, which means what, dude? What's up, Chris? And he said... I mean, uh, he's he looking for a serial killer. I know. Come. He said He said it doesn't mean the space should be used as a jail, but he said the additional 2,500 square feet. 2,500 square feet. For sex trafficking. That's a big ass house, dude. And then he said it's a lot of space to be reworked. The the house is on sale for three hundred and fifty thousand dollars if you want to make an offer. The jail is in the basement. Me, okay, you can keep the jail. Let me, let me, let me, let me guess. He put it on Craigslist. <laughs> right. Looking for talking about the possibilities are amazing. R. R. Kelly should buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he probably got it from Weinstein. I cannot. I am he so bad. Weinstein and them. Weinstein and them selling real estate with built-in jail cells. Oh, my God. Wait, well, he said it's a dope park Airbnb concept. How are you going to have a real estate with built-in jail cells? Who the hell? Who lived who there? Know? What was they doing there? The house is from back in 1875, dude. That's a slave quarters. That's a long. That's got to be like a, a, a like a, a, a slave house, like a you know a slave owner owned that. There's they there actually put jail cells. Nine nine jail cells in the basement. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's not like you can't move it all over. Yeah. It do sound like get out, get in. Like yeah. wow. What the movie Saw? What's what about the other movie Saw or? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that do yeah Saw. Where people yeah. wake up in jail cells next to each other. Or it could be Andy Griffin. Andy Griffin had five jail cells. They used to sleep in there. That's could be crazy. Andy Just think about this house. It's got, and that's 2,500 square feet. 2,500 square feet. Are you know I just mean? thought? We are so negative. Let's stop being, okay, that's what, this is what we're going to do. We're going to stop being negative, and we're going to find three positive things that this place could be. Now, I got I one. It okay. could have could have been it could have been uh Andy Griffith's jailhouse. Remember? Because he had the five cells and it looked like he lived over there. So that's one. What's another one it could be? Uh it could have been a place to hold adopted kids. And why in a jail <laughs> I mean you not put in the jail. Jail. <laughs> they probably didn't treat them like they was in jail. They just didn't have the means. <laughs> Hey, hey, child services, you might not never get no. <laughs> but they didn't have the means to upgrade it to make it more like, you know, a uh, uh, no, place. You know. He said, hello, okay, scratch that. Okay, scratch that. It was probably the place where they had, uh, you know, uh, what's that movie with the. <laughs> what's that movie with the monkeys in it? Uh, uh, what is the name of that movie? Planet of the Apes? Yes. This was what this is the one that where they finally broke out of the jail and they became on they got on their own. This is probably one of those holding cells. For the for the Planet okay, of the so Apes. A dog, a dog rescue, that's two. Dog rescue, that's two. We need one more because Chantel said they have to be man sized apes and then they have to break out, and that's the only way this house could be relevant. So um uh, no, that's not. <laughs> okay, yeah, animal shelter makes sense, baby. But okay, okay, one well, last one, well, last strip club, nah, 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 wow. nah, strip club. How about a psychi How about a psychiatric facility? 
A steakhouse. Okay, we did it. We did it. We did it. There we go. Special need, like, you know, psychiatric. You know what I mean? Where they have to lock them in, but they're not necessarily yeah. in jail, you know? Yeah, they do be holding them. They do, like, treat them like they're in jail, which is not good. That's not possible, dude. That's not possible. Well, they could be that on Franklin. They could be on Franklin in Chicago, wandering around with a pizza box full of CDs. You said something positive. That is positive. positive. Special uh, uh, people with mentally, mental, you know, uh, disparities are in, you know, in the hospital where they need to be. <laughs> <laughs> Period. Oh, no, <laughs> Just forget about it, man. It's over, all right? Three hundred fifty thousand. If you want to buy this home, it's out Stay there. Sex the trafficking, like I'm a. <laughs> Anybody want a sex trafficking? Do perfect house. We got you. That's not positive. You said something positive. I can't think of we no positive reason why we have it. Now we back home in the loop. <laughs> There's no reason why you have nine jail cells in your basement, dude. Period. No reason. Uh-uh. That's unnecessary. What's the next? That's definitely sound like some torture chambers, for real. All right. No, well, we're going to move on. Hopefully, hopefully they sell the house and somebody rebuilds, make it a finished basement and not make treat it as a, a jail house in the basement. You know, make it a theater yeah, or something. They can build me nine refrigerators, BK. There we go. See, now you're thinking. All right, let's move on to number two. <laughs> In the loop, top five stories. Number two is this Chinese restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so there's a restaurant in China that's apologizing for weighing their customers. So you walk in there, and they tell you to get on a scale. This is in China. At the restaurant. What how would you feel if you went into Fogo de Chayo or you went into Applebee's and they say, Hey, 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 hold on. It's not about the mask, it's not about the sanitizing. We ain't gotta check you for corona. But we wanna weigh you so that we can make sure that you don't eat too much food or too little food, because we don't want to waste no food. So this restaurant in China is apologizing because they had people sitting on getting on these scales. Then they say, Well, you know, it wasn't they they had a choice. They didn't have to get on the scale. We just want to make sure we don't waste no food. What exactly can you do for somebody that gets on the scale? And do you say you kind of small? You probably won't eat a whole cheeseburger. We're gonna give you a half, half burger, and have you sit down and, and order your food. This is what they was doing, weighing people. So what? If, how would you feel if you went in there and they weighed you to determine how much food they're gonna serve you? I don't even so. I don't even see how that's relevant. Like how my size or my weight has anything even... to do. Yeah, that's weird as hell. That's, I hope they close down. They said they, they, they close down. They said it was a national campaign to avoid food waste um, after officials warned citizens are about possible shortages due to the pandemic. So they said since we are running out of food, we should weigh people to make sure that they're not going to waste food. But I don't get how you're going to determine how much a person's going to eat based on their weight. Just because well, I weigh 160 don't mean I'm not going to eat all my buffalo wings. What are you talking about? Hey, look. So they're trying to say if you got a weight problem, then you can, you're going to eat it. I got a weight problem. I can't wait to eat. So I'm not going <laughs> to jump on them. I'm not going <laughs> to get on nobody's scale or nothing. You get your ass out the way. You're going to get out the weight. See, move out of the, that's I'm not. And then. What if you what if you got a scale that if you just blow off the scales like they got a scale that's three hundred and you weigh four hundred so then do they got to give you extra food like I'm not understanding I don't, that's what, I don't either they said they were trying to keep from food. yeah they said they was trying to keep from wasting food but I don't get how you're gonna prevent wasting food oh I know something so now hold on hold on you might be one sixty and they make you pay twenty. But if you 200, you might have to pay 22. If you 400, you might be like, no, nah, play, you got to give me 50. You finna come here and eat up some shit. But it seems like the person that would weigh more would eat more. They're, they're saying they're trying to prevent people from wasting food. I, yeah. well, I, don't, I don't like to admit, but I'm not, a, I'm not a foodie, so I don't eat much. So I would be that person that would be like, no, nah, I'm good. I don't want the rest of that. You can take it away. So then would you charge me more? 
Because you know, but what is putting me on the scale going to do? That's what I'm not understanding. That's the part I'm going to look at you. When you send that half a cheeseburger back, they're going to look at you like you front. They're going to be like, she know better than that. She 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 ain't eating to her size. Now you got a whole nother problem. That's like weird. They, all they come out better than ask people, is you hungry? Like, yeah. Are you hungry? Are you going to eat a lot? Like The only yeah. way I can see is, is, is charging them by weight. If they don't want to waste food, then they might can charge you by weight. And then it would be like they not wasting food because they covering it by, by the money. But I don't, I don't see no other way to, to, to determine that. Right. That, that is, that's not, it's not making sense to me. But they're apologizing. They said they sorry. They sorry. It was just trying to make sure that we prevent, they prevent, uh, you know, food waste. They didn't want to waste food. So that they, but they sorry. I'm bringing you up. You put your ball. Yo, that's when your boss is one of them people you can't talk to, and he say some shit like, "No, I want you to weigh everybody that come in." You're like, "What are you? What is that? What I tell you? Listen, you want a job tomorrow? You're like, "Yeah." My boss said I gotta weigh everybody that come in. Like, well, fuck, I don't know, cause he said so. Like, he right. got mad and then told everybody get on the scale. You too. Everybody weigh in here. Y'all stealing food. Y'all stealing. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I I don't know. That's that's weird. Is he wearing them clothes? Is he wearing them? He's trying to find out where them shrimp went. That's what he's doing. Right. Because he's taking food home every shift, every night. Say, hey, somebody still. Somebody, listen, I know it wasn't them. They walked in here, they was 116 pounds. They walked out, they was 121 pounds. That's five pounds. And seven <laughs> pounds of shrimp missing. What else? <laughs> right. They got the science of it. That's Nobody's doing this <laughs> Just think about that, though. Like, just think about if they would do that to us in the U.S. If they did that to you, and you went to Fridays or something, and they say, "Hey, you got to get on the scale first. We ain't playing no games here." And maybe they put you on the scale if you are, uh, if you if you weigh a lot to determine the fact that they're not going to sell you a lot of food. We're not, hey, we ain't got a lot of food, so your big self, your big ass can't eat that much when you come in here. That's probably <laughs> not You're a little too big to eat here, sir. That's not cool, man. Don't do that. She's too thick. She's too thick. She can't eat too much. Yeah, they try to say if you're too big. When you come in here, your girl too thick. Your girl too thick. You come, her girl too booty. Her booty. Right. Eat her booty in the car. She come no booty. Like the clumps. But what if you what think about it? What if you got eighteen pounds of food, right? And three people come in and they all weigh what they weigh, and then you weigh them when they leave out, and there's only fourteen pounds of food on them when they leave out, but all the food gone. So now you know it's four pounds of food that they threw away, or somebody missing, or something going on with it. So I, I'm a weirdo. I can actually calculate I can't. the low foods. You can I'm calculate the losses if you think about it. I don't like know. If you somebody don't know that. Food in and you weigh them on the way out, you know how much food they ate. Well, at least and you know, you know they, they, they ate the food because they're saying they want to prevent the waste, food waste. So at least we know they ate the food. Okay? Yeah, yeah. But then it's like whatever's left over is waste. I don't know. That's all. But I, I think that is, that will help you calculate how much food you waste, though. And if you weigh the person when they came in or when they came out, it's a lot to do. Yeah, but, you know, it's a really, it's a really cheap people in this world, man. <laughs> How you get in here doing this? He just got here. <laughs> the clumps is the underrated classic. That's yes, it. Is. <laughs> All right. Hey, look, hey, look. Philip. Oh, uh, Mr. Brooks is a, he's a uh, Mr. Brooks is a, uh, a principal. He put oh. his tongue up like, yeah, that's some good math, Jason. I know what he's thinking that's over there. Right. He's like, yeah, that's, you're, that's you're good. You're smart. Good. Yeah. Good job, Shout Jason. Shout out to Mr. Brooks. You know your math. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see. Let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we got. All right. Let's move on to story number one in the Loop Top 5 stories. Number one. Okay. This is a question, people. All right. Oh, he's retired. He said he don't, he don't, he don't get down like that. Oh, he was tired. Hey, hey, Mr. Brooks, tell him. I am not lying that I spoke at my college graduation where I, I didn't even have it written. I went off the top of the head. I got a standing ovation. Mm. And I talked right before right before a girl who went to Nassau. She, she's like, she's going to be an astronaut. And she said, I'm sorry, but I'm not as articulate as Jason. 
I was oh. like, what? She ain't missed a day of school. Look, yes, she did. See? He said he, said he don't remember that. She ain't missed a day of school for four years. That girl didn't miss a day of school for four years. She had like a 4.8. She was going to be an astronaut. Well, can you, can, you tell, can you tell your ex-principal if you're over there burning incense? Hey, listen, man. I was hey, look, I used to come to class smoking like tree. Hey, listen, I, I told him, I told him, uh, I told listen, I told him on the on the teacher. Hey y'all, I snitched on the teacher on accident, right? I didn't know the teacher was like he said, You remember? Yeah. I didn't know the teacher was a smoker. So I used to come to class smelling like, you know, how I smell every day. So one day I didn't. I didn't. I was like, I'm gonna stop doing that. And I came in and we like. Somebody smelled like some good smoke. So everybody had used to me smoking, so they thought it was me. And I was wow. like, no, it ain't me. We found out the teacher was smoking. Teacher, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. The this teacher did it. Wasn't me. I love college. It should be held responsible because this was back in 1973. So that should have been happening at that time. <laughs> <laughs> you so petty. <laughs> you set that up. You said that up. You said right. that Where have the times gone, people? All right, it's time for us to make a change. For this to be going on since 1973, this man has spoken. He has given us his testimony, okay? He says that the teacher was smoking marijuana, people, in 1973. All right? <laughs> Your school system needs to be adjusted. <laughs> I, would think I, would, I would respond to that. But when you respond to stuff, people think it's true. So I'm just going to listen. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's move on to story number one. In the loop, top five stories. Okay, number one. Now, this is a question for you, okay? It's a matter of your telephone device. Would you download this app? Have you heard about, the, about, about this app, people? It's called COVIDWISE. This app is called COVIDWISE. You download this app, there's about over 300,000 people have already downloaded this app. Let me tell you what it does. This app will tell you if you have come into contact with somebody within six feet that has coronavirus. It has Bluetooth on it, and it will give you an alert that says, beep, beep, hold on, somebody you've been around has the coronavirus. Then... You can add that the laboratory, it will actually send this signal to a laboratory and they won't give your name, your location, or none of that somehow, some way. And then they will do a test to see if you if you get an alert on your on the on the app that says that you came in contact with somebody that has coronavirus, they'll send the, the alert to this laboratory that will do a test to see if you test positive for the coronavirus. And it's a whole different situation. It's it's a whole crazy technology on your phone just to tell you if you have come into contact with somebody that has the COVID-19, okay? Are you downloading this app? Is that crazy? I get emails, text messages, so many so many alerts coming on my phone all day, every day. So imagine being out and about, you going out to eat, you're doing all this stuff, walking the park, and you get beep, 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 hold on, whoa. You get like 10 alerts saying that you came in contact with like 10 people that got coronavirus. What if your phone... What if you walking down? What if you were downtown? You walking and your shit get the beep of like your parking brake, like boop 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 boop. It start getting louder. You see the bum coming towards you. You like boop 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 boop. And you gonna turn around and run? <laughs> I I'm done. I'm like I'm I'm good. It's been three hundred over three hundred five thousand people have downloaded this app already. So like in Corona phones, they got Corona phones out here now. Huh? I heard of xylophones. I heard of speaker phones, but Corona phones. Corona I don't phones. want no. I don't want no Corona phone. I yeah. don't need that. It'll tell you. It'll mm. go up. And it's a really weird thing. So when they when they do a test, if you decide that you want them to test you, they're gonna send you a pin to your phone. That that pin is it's a weird thing. You have to send the pin number. And only you have that pin because they don't want people falsely like trying to. Um, you know, from reporting false positive results or whatever. So they give what you this, if, just a whole weird thing going on with it. What if you could breathe in, what if you could breathe in your phone and then they take your breath out your phone and tell you if you got it? You take my breath away. <laughs> <Ain't that so? laughs> this shit. See, hey, look, in the loop turn it to a musical sometimes, in case y'all didn't know. 
He turned to a ghetto musical. Oh, every God. every once in a while, I turned to a ghetto musical. Yeah. I, 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 I wouldn't so download. I wouldn't download that because first of all, I don't know who made it. Second of all, I don't, I don't. I don't. I'm not even like. It's out of Virginia. A, huh? Yeah. It's out of Virginia. Virginia. Out of Virginia. Yeah. It's local. Virginia? Nah, I'm cool. I ain't trying. I ain't with that. Nah, no corona check-in for me. That's weird. So what happened to HIV? I know, right? And all these other... I thought they said they had some type of app that will tell you if you was... Or like a condom or something that will turn colors if you get a... P, uh, uh, if you get a... Not you, a gotta P so P you gotta put it on... You gotta put it in there to find no nah, man. I said an app. Nah, no, nah, this ain't, ain't no app for that. You got the 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 condom will turn a different color if you have not a PhD but an STD. Okay. So what happens? You got so, a PhD. Then <laughs> <laughs> you're very with smart. Come with a tassel. My condom got a tassel. <laughs> on it. But would y'all use that condom though that turns colors and shows you right away? If you have an STD during your sexual moments, it turns colors and it will tell you if you have an STD right then and there. What would you do? You in the height of the moment? What would you do? You're like, oh, if the, if the condom turns colors, it turns colors. There was a condom that they created that turns colors. If while you're having sex and then it'll, if it turns a different color, that means you have an STD. And BK, BK said we on condoms now. We were talking about alerts. He won't be looking for it. He will leave. Man. Leave? Where are you going? No, you. No, where she, you going? Ask me. You got to start asking a question. You got to stay, so honey. If you put it on and it changes colors, but if you no, put it in during the penetration, it changes colors to tell you that you have an STD. I be like, oh my god, she's a glow worm. <laughs> She's a glower. <laughs> oh man! I'm not with none of that Star Wars sex. I'm not with none of that. I'm not going in with a Magnum and coming out with a lifesaver. Like, like what is Star Wars sex? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on around here. Kind of what's going on around here? Doctor. At first, I mean, who's gonna believe that? It's Who true. Really but it's but it, it it gives you the time it gives you the chance to know right away what's going on. You know, you don't have to wait. You ain't gotta go to the doctor, you know right away. What's up, buddy McClain? You know right away if something ain't the right. Legend, the legend, buddy, man. Buddy, real one, real one. Hey, listen, if I put anything on anything and it changes colors, we're gonna have a problem. Right. <laughs> Whatever color it was when you started, it should be the same color when you finish. Okay. I ain't put none on my neck so it turned green. I ain't put none on my stain that's going to turn red. He said, I ain't put none on my nothing. <laughs> Juicy. Hey, listen. I heard that they found the dudes that killed Jam Master J. Yeah, it was, they got two suspects in custody, too, which is crazy. Finally, that's, that's great. Finally. But you know, if you watch that documentary about how Jam Master J uh, got killed, mm -hmm. they had a lot of evidence in that documentary by itself. Like it would talk, it showed how the girl was. It was a receptionist in there. She was a witness. She was sitting right there when the dude walked in, shot him, and and walked right out. So it was a lot of witnesses in the studio the day he got killed. But yeah, they. Wow, I would have never knew that Chantel. Knew this much about Jam Master J. Murray. This how she was studying that shit. Ain't it? She was yeah. like, oh, yeah, by the way, the ballistics, the, the ballistics, the hole, and she was, <laughs> and you know, she, the, 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 and the reception had seen it all. She seen it all, and they ain't even asked her nothing. <laughs> you know, I know. I stay in the loop now. Come on, I stay in the loop. That's what this is all about. They wouldn't have put me on. She's trying to nasty face. She's a motherfucker. <laughs> they wouldn't, have, they wouldn't, they wouldn't have hired me if I didn't know what was going on and what was, you know, if I wasn't in the loop. You see, that's what that was. Yeah. So they got to be in the nasty grace fashions. Hell. <laughs> Eight hundred years since this man got killed, though. Like, dang, we loved. Yeah, my sister. You know, documentary. 
We watch everything. We want to know all the true stories. We don't want to know all the facts. I feel like if mm -hmm. I wasn't, if I decide to do something different, I would like to be, um, I want to be like a celebrity biographer. Like I want to just study celebrities' lives, but mm -hmm. I want to know. Is that, is that, what does that mean? Is that the, if I decide to do something like, was that the? That's, that's, that's who me internalizing my dream. That's what that is. <laughs> That's me and turning like my dream come true, dude. Yeah, 50 happy. I think 50 has something to do with that. 50 going hire private investigators and 50 a monster, man. Look, that's how you know you're a monster because brothers will put stuff on your tab. You ain't had nothing to do with it. You know they found dinosaurs in Brooklyn. I bet you that was Jay-Z. Mm. Jay-Z, yeah, I bet you he paid for them dinosaur eggs to be raised. Man, boy, yeah, 50 probably ain't had nothing to do with that, but he probably is happy with yeah, they said it was a drug-related situation, though. So the dudes that got indicted because they put them, um, it's for uh, a drug-related situation. But they talked about Jim Master J. Like, at that time that he got killed, he, you know, Run DMC wasn't popping like that no more. So he was kind of broke, they said. He wasn't really, he, he didn't really have a lot of money. He didn't take care of a lot of people. Yeah, so he was supposedly on the low selling dope. And so this yeah, was, he was a deep boy. I've been in that studio, like, I spent like months in that studio doing uh, recording stuff after after he got killed. What were you the night, of the night that Jam Master J? What were you? God damn it, I you was making it? a peanut butter you and jelly sandwich. Out. I was making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, the three stack one, you know, the one with the bread in the middle, and then you put the bread on, and then that one, I was, uh -huh. that was me. I was at the house. Where was you when Tupac got shot? That some, somehow I feel like you like when Tupac. Tupac got shot. You I was that. I was cleaning my new Air Max. I was cleaning my Charles Barkley's. I was scrubbing my Charles Barkley's. Hey, right. look, the next, the next show, we need to talk about all this women power that's going on around here. Yes. I want to know what is going on with this women empowerment thing going on. I know, yeah, rest in peace, Top Tone. Shout out to Top Tone. Yes. You know, the hustler, the poker man, the restaurant, TR. You know yes, what I mean? Yes, but yes. I really want to talk to women about all this empowerment shit, because I'm on y'all's side. Like, I'm on y'all's side. Like, don't count me out as one of them dudes. I'm on y'all's side. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I just want to know what's going on. You want to be our friend now, huh? I was saying you want to be our friend now. Friend. I got huh. bundles to sell. I'll be your friend. Wait, you got bundles got over there? What, I got what you got one I got presents. You know what I'm talking about? I might yeah. forget something, so I just grab a bundle out the pantry. You know what I mean? You got bundles. I got bundles. In, I got, got bundles of lenses in the pantry. You got like two twenty six inches over there, body weight. Number two. No, no, one B. One B. Let me look. Yeah. <laughs> I might. You look like a Chinese person. Let me look. <laughs> Let me look. <laughs> Ah, let me look. You don't say let me, me look. look. <laughs> let me look. Now, do you got it or not? I think I'm all day. <laughs> hold on. Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> you, I say a not a wig, dude. You don't have to go up there for, you go up there for a wig, not a bundle. <laughs> no, you had the bundle. You had the bundles on the lady head. No. You know what I'm saying? No. Lay that that's a wig, dude. That's a lace front you going up there. Out the, it's, out the, it's out the plastic. And it's just I hung up there. We don't buy bundles out of the plastic. Where the hair been? We you don't know. Touch them feel them. You got to the sample. Man, that bundles better be in the plastic, dude. I'm not playing those. Yeah, we can play it, but you, touch, you got the sample bundles right there so you can see them. You be like, oh, no. I like that. Let me touch no. it. No, Open that no, you open that bag up and you stick your fingers in there with two fingers. They let you put these two in. That's it. You stick your you fingers. Ain't, no, we got that. corona. This corona ain't no more of that. Hey, corona. Not, corona I need, to know, my I need You're to not know sticking my corona fingers. fingers in my bundles. No more corona fingers in my bundles, man. I need to know what the texture is. I got to feel that all up in here like this. This is what you do when you buy them bundles. It's wet way. <laughs> That's how you it's end up wet, with the wet. 
I want to know what's going on with all this women empowerment, man. What is what is this? What is this, man? Like, what, what is going on with the OnlyFans pages and and all the the all the, the Marcy, swinging of the sexual mm -hmm. Y'all talking about raps and stuff, and man, <laughs> like I want to know what's what's really. I want I need to know what's going on. Like, is this really a civil war? Are we about to go into a civil war? Are we gonna like, so so when women start to find their power, we going into a whole civil war? Is what you say? <laughs> so that's what's happening. Women finding their power. That's what's yeah. happening. I mean, we're, we're, we're growing into our power. We always had this power. We was just always, you know, back in those days, 50s and 40s and all that, 30s, you were only able to do certain things. You had to be in the house. You had to be cooking and cleaning and take care of home and raising the kids. But we never stopped being talented. We never stopped being uh, intelligent. We just never had the, the opportunity to show who we really were. But now is our time to shine. So and we're not. Sling some pipe, huh? You said what? Y'all finna get out here and sling some pipe? Slang pipe. What is, yeah, I mean, y'all gonna sit on everybody's face. Y'all got WAPs, uh, OnlyFans pages. Uh, what does that have? To, our power has nothing to do with that. That is not. Listen, women had that since the beginning of the time. That's not nothing new. If you didn't know, they just put it on the forefront because that's what they do. That's Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B. That's their style. We that ain't. I got a buddy that shout out to uh, Donald. He got a um a new the little white wop whatever. He's got face masks and t-shirts, but it stands for women um are phenomenal. That's what he changed it into. So now that he's got some face masks, he changed wop into women are phenomenal versus the other. Man, you're gonna change wop he, into. Well, he he decided to turn it into something a little more less grunge. I hope he feels empowered. He did what he wanted to do, and you can't tell him what to do. Well, I ain't never he seen him. Knew, man. But I knew he ain't he Listen, you got here because of what, honey? <laughs> you got here because of that. All y'all got here because of the what? I mean, what is that? There's nothing <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about something else. Let's talk about how smart we are, intelligent, how beautiful we are, how strong we are, how we hold down these kids, how we take care of all these bills on our own, how our credit scores are up farther past than y'all. how we got degrees. We got PhDs and bachelors. They talk about that. That ain't what I'm, I'm singing a song. <laughs> I ain't saying nothing about that. See how you would take me? I ain't had nothing to do with that. I'm just singing a song. You definitely didn't have anything to do with that. We, we appreciate everything you did. Maybe the style and Cardi B got the number one song in the world called WAP. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then Kamala Harris is now, uh, you know, possibly your new vice president. Well, y'all need to get y'all story straight. <laughs> y'all got a lot going on. <laughs> hey, we just winning all the way around. That's all there's to it. I mean, what can you do? We're winning. We are beautiful women. We're beautiful black women. We always have this power. We're just, we decided that now we're going to unleash. What did, what did Cisco say? Unleash the dragon. <laughs> See? <laughs> Q, Q, uh, where's Cisco when you need a bag? Cisco. <laughs> He's climbing up. He's, he's he sleeping in somebody's bed. Unleash the dragon. We unleash it. Cisco okay, it's all right. Somebody, bed, somebody in his bed. Well, shout out to all the empowered women who feel empowered. I didn't ever think y'all didn't have power. I thought y'all always had the power. Y'all got the. Are you so surprised? Got the, you see? So I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Like, like that's why I don't like the slogan "Black Lives Matter" because I never felt like they did. You know what yep. I mean? So I feel like Black Lives Matter is something that Black people would never say. We need to you know start I mean? doing like BWM, BWM, Black Women Matter. Can we start a whole new movement? Can we do another one? Black, Black Lives Matter is a woman movement. They ain't got nothing to do with brothers. You know the woman that's part of it. Doing that. Did you know that? She's a, she's rich. She's a millionaire. Who that? Who a millionaire? Look at Jamez's outfit. Show me, show me. He said he ain't he say he's not on that bro, right? He's not on that right now. I want you to see his outfit, but he said he ain't on that. Jamez. <laughs> he ain't on that. Okay, all right. Uh, Jamal said, What's up? What's up, Trish? Oh, hey, hey, I gotta tell you, since he left, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell y'all a story about Jamal since he left. So, and Jamal is my son, y'all. He's 18, if you don't know. 
So Jamez told me the other day before we run out of time. He said, "Mom, I got. I, I, there's. I'm going to this graduation party. It's a female. Her name is so and so." I said, "Okay." He said, "Mom, I feel like I want you to meet her." And I was like, "Whoa, meet her? I ain't never heard him say this in life." He said, "Yeah, you know, I like her." I said, "Okay." He said, "If you meet her and you rocking with her, mom, then I'm probably gonna make her my girlfriend. But if you don't like her, then she gotta go." I said, "She gotta go." <laughs> So I said, what you like about her? He said she, he liked her personality. She's pretty. Then he said she matches his energy. Wow. I said, match your energy? What that mean? He said that she's like, just like me. She cool. She chilling. She calm. You know, she ain't too all over the place. She matches energy. So now he wants me to meet the girl. I had never met a girlfriend of my son's in my life ever. And since I've had a child. And I was just like, wow. He said, if, he, if I like the girl, she's a keeper. If I don't like her, she got to go. Period. And he said he liked so, her, but if I ain't feeling her, I don't so know what to do. do. <laughs> huh? You're going to be a stinking old lady or what? No, I, I, I would never. I could I couldn't do that, I, especially if he likes her. Like, I just, I never met a girl that, you know, that he likes. So I don't even know what to do. Like, if I, what if I don't really like her? What if she just come off of, and she's a Mexican girl, by the way. So... On the leg now. I gotta call you, Rita. You know yeah. Hey! Yeah. Well, look, keep, keep them posted, though. We want to know how it go. You gonna make tacos? <laughs> <laughs> but she's the only child. She's the only child. It's just her, 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 her parents. They're married. So he said he liked the fact that she goes to the gym. I was like, okay. He has a whole standard. Because he never let me meet a girl before. Like, he's always, he said he dated black girls, he dated all kinds of girls. But he's never told me that there's one that he needs me to meet her. Like, he was asking. Did he say you look like a Mexican? Huh? What? He said you look like a Mexican. I look like a Mexican. He said she was cool like you and act like a Mexican. She, no, he didn't say she was like me. He just said that he liked, you know, she was cool. Oh, okay. I mean, I, so I think you. I appreciate that. He's a good son, though. For him to say that to me and to, like, literally stop my TV, he was like, Mom, put everything on pause. I got to tell you something. I was like, oh. When he said that, it's Hey, look, I'm going to give you some game, though. The only reason we tell our mama that we want her to see if she likes the girl is because the next thing I'm going to be like, Mama, can so-and-so come over? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I, but, you know, to be honest with you, I'm actually, I'm, I need him to have a girl over so he can keep his room clean. Because now he'll clean that room up. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm waiting for him to ask for a female to come over so he can clean that goddamn room up. Okay? <laughs> you can't go in that room without a mask. He's going to clean it up. All right? He's going to clean that room up. He's going to be clean. Gonna, clean. He, clean. he cleaned it up like like it was no, like it, he cleaned it up like he had the president coming over when his, his, his uh, girl cousin came over, his little sister. Kavari came over one day and he cleaned that room up so clean. I haven't even seen it that clean. So I know if he got a female that he likes coming over, he's gonna clean that room up. I need her to come over. Matter of fact, I'm gonna call her and say, look, can you do me a big favor? Just please come over here and just visit him. I'm gonna tell him you coming over. He's gonna finally clean that room up the way I need him to clean the room up. I'm definitely taking the door off. I'm taking that door off. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna be in the next room like this with my thing on the door on the on the wall. Listening, then she can only come over at noon in the afternoon and daytime on the Tuesday. And so, yeah, no spending no nights. Uh, don't you can't even close the door. Matter of fact, I'm in here with y'all. What we doing? <laughs> 18, 18, get that boy some fresh air, man. Oh, Jesus, nah, ain't no fresh air in here. <laughs> Give him some kissing room, man. just a, a pecking, a pecking room or something. This is mommy air in this house. You want some fresh air, you go out there. Okay, this is in the mom. Yeah, see, I told you it was an old head. Hey, did you? Why you look like you in jail? Look at the back. <laughs> look at your background. You look like you locked up. <laughs> you look like you. They gave you a break outside of your jail house, your jail, <laughs> your cell for a second. I'm on the <laughs> <laughs> you in jail. Dang, homie. <laughs> I just <I'm> you. <laughs> Ah, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna definitely uh keep y'all up to date on that. I'm, I'm definitely mm -hmm. feeling weirded out by it. Though. It's a little too much. Please money. keep us uh, that Jamez got more action than you. Please keep us I'm, in the loop. I'm telling you, 
Oh, yeah, I'm putting a doorbell on his room, too. Ding dong! <laughs> Would you stop giving all these hating ass suggestions? Work program, y'all some you hate. You gotta keep your eyes built, man. You gotta keep your eyes open on the children. These kids, these young people today. Okay, yeah, it's time to go, people. Thank y'all so much. We love you, love you, love you. Great time. Shout out to my sisters that's here. Shout out to all of the Interloop uh, production. Appreciate y'all. Thursday.